So while we're back live for the final, Westbury up against Myrtle Grove. Once again, a pleasant, good day. That's a second ball to Omari. That's Omari and Sheldon who is open the inning. The first ball was hit for four by Omari. My mistake was it for six by Omari. And that's another beautiful shot over the bowler's head for six. That was a beautiful hit there by Omari for six. So the score is um, 12 of three balls. Mr. Damien Rowe, what are you doing? Nicholas Herbalis, me too. We're, we're here at um, Eagles Mess in Orlando. That ball had went up to Jacksonville, so they call for the second ball. That was it hard and high by Omari. Omari plays that one in the backward point area. Gets a single. That one was hit hard and high on the mid wicket boundary for, for six by Sheldon. So Merle Grove is off to a lightning start. He got 19 so far from the first over. The ball is Porter from Westbury, CC. Westbury from out there of the out there from the Big Apple. So they're still searching for that ball that um, it seems like Sheldon hit that one over to Tampa. Rent hard and high in the bushes. Mr. Johnson, how you doing? Oh, 
So as the ball returned from the bushes, I went there, I guess they went to get a drone, tried to find that ball. Mr. Saxton, how you doing? Mr. John, with a T, John T, how you doing? We're here at um, Eagle's Nest in Orlando. Myrtle Grove is going up against Westbury CC from out of New York. It's a weekend full of cricket in memory of Everton Cox, who passed away a couple years ago. The umpire um, signaled the dead ball from the bowler porter. Can Bone I, Levy. Sir? Sorry? Can I comment a little bit? <laughs> this is your next. What, my yo? What, Tucker? And he's out caught. And he's out caught. And he's out caught. Not, not, top of, not on top of that shot. He's out caught. Second ball he faced. Hit it straight to the fielder. So um, the bowler came back very good. A short mid wicket trying to pull, but not on top of that one, and therefore he was dismissed. It's a pleasure to see my friend again, Mr. Tucker, one of my former captains. We used to play together down in West Palm Beach, but I identify him, so you know the brain is still working. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you, Mr. Tucker. How are you doing? I'm just doing great. And just how, doing great. And how is all of your colleagues and peers? and Well, well um, most of them I've seen um, not too long ago, they're doing good. Yes. Um, most of them kind of stop play at the moment, but um, I still do a little of it. Do you remember Beres and um, Maxwell? Yeah, and, um, absolutely. Yeah, How could you yeah. forget such wonderful <laughs> players? But uh, like I say, it's a pleasure to see you. And uh, we will get back. I'm over here going to play some cross the table domino. You know I'm a domino uh, fanatic. Enjoy yourself, sir. You That's too. what we're here for today. Yeah, and, and God bless you. You know, I turn myself over to the Lord, so I don't worry about a thing. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you later. Yes. So at the crease was, um, was oh. Phil Davis. That one is a wide signal by the umpire. The bowler is um, Palmer. That was a slower one, Omari started to drive but realized it was a slower one so he just dropped his bat and it went to down to long on get a single That one swings outside the off stump, umpire signals are wide. A beautiful day here in Orlando. You got spectators there for cricket, you got, they're doing their barbecuing and just having fun. A very big park. That one was it hard and I, that should go for six. Yes, it is. Six there by Phil Davis.
score moves on to 28. Myrtle Grove was very impressive yesterday in the got their win and moves to the final today. Over to the left of us, as you can see, the grill is going on from the smoke. I won't be able to tell what exactly is underneath that um, the cover, but I would think it's um, very good jerk. I won't say what kind of jerk. I don't want to expose my appetite. The things that I like. Twenty-eight for one. They're in the second over. Davis let it goes by outside the off stump. Plays that one down to a cow corner area. They get one. They're coming back for the second. Score moves to 30. So at the end of the second over, the score is um, 30. For one, Myrtle Grove. It's a 15 over game in the final. So it's Sam um, Omar who is bowling the third over. Picks up a single from the first ball. Omari. Omari is the batsman. Omar is the bowler. And I must remind you that um, we're playing a 15 over game, so they'll be bowling eight overs from the northern end, and then they change to bowl the next the seven over from the southern end. Swings and miss. Umpire signals a bye. There was some misunderstanding by the two batsmen. Phil Davis was ball watching. Omari decided that um, it was good, so he decided to take that single while Phil was ball watching, but they end up um, getting home safe. 
That was a good ball in the black hole. Omari drops his bat on it. Omari ran down the wicket and realized it's a slower ball and decided instead of taking the chance to make that big shot, he just dropped his bat on it, fielded by the bowler. It's Omar to Omari. At the end of the third over, score is um, 30. As they're going at um, 10 and over. Having some very good weather here in Orlando of the Eagles Nest. You got music in the park, you got the barbecuing, and um, So it will be Jermaine Harris who will be bowling from, will be bowling the fourth over. It's Phil Davis will be facing. That one was um, right in the black hole. Davis shuffles and um, misses, fielded by the bowler. That one was played officially by Davis Pass that was a six off of a no ball as you can see the umpire signal a free hit Amari hit that back over the bowler's head. And while there's a pause there by the the keeper who decided that he would get close behind the stumps. Well, that was a free hit, which the only way you could get a out is um, from the run-out route. 
and they really take that chance of um, getting the second run. That was the ball outside the off stump. Omari reaches and get a bottom edge. Went on the onside to get a single. Score moves to 41. 41 for one. That was a bummer by Phil Davis. Make that shot on the ground and decide that he won't even move. All he did was walk up to greet the next batsman and went for four. Score moves to 45. Well, that should be uh, I guess it's a run for Phil Davis he's now 14 at the end of the fourth over Omari 24 Phil Davis 14 the score is um, 47 it's at 48 after four overs. It's another change of bowling from takeover from Harris. That should be a wide, but mm, no, it's not. The ball, I understand, is um, AK. Well, he started out pretty good, two dot balls. Three dot balls. So he's, um, that was a good change. Reminder that we're here at the Eagle's Nest in Orlando. Wide, wide, wide. 
So there's an appeal for a caught behind. Umpire wasn't sure, so they are having a little discussion. So the umpire is making her way back to the behind the stumps to make a decision. Not out. So it's another dot ball. Well, finally, um, Phil Davis get a single off the fifth ball of the over. Score moves to 49. That's a good shot there by Omari. They only get a only get a single that was played out, fielded by the sweeper. Shies at the stump at the bowler's end. And that was a direct hit, but the field, the batsman was in at the end of the fifth over. Score is 49 for one. Incoming batsman is um that's on the bench so far is um Ken Wright. That one was uh was played back past the bowler by Omari for a single. Score moves to fifty for one. That one was it squared over the square leg fielder for four by Phil Davis. The bowler drifted just a little to the leg and paid for it. Score moves to 54. Wow! That was a bullet back over the bowler's head by Phil Davis. He swat that one like a baseball player for four.
Score moves to 58. 58 for one. Myrtle Grove took first strike. We are in the final against Westbury from out of the Big Apple. That was a good ball, a good slower ball. That's a beautiful shot. I don't think they will find that one. Now they got a drone to go to search for that ball. I see it back over the bowler's head by Omari. That's a beautiful catch there by AK. That one was hit like a bullet back to the bowler. And they are still wondering if he's okay. He caught it. But that was a very, very good catch. As a matter of fact, he don't have a choice. If he hadn't caught that ball, then it would be some serious trouble. So to the crease after Phil Davis replacing Phil Davis is Ken Wright. And Ken Wright gets started just like the others for six. Back over the bowler's head for six.
So while there break, there's a break for for that ball for them to retrieve that ball. The umpire is asking for some refreshment. I was told not to say water. I should say refreshment. The reason for that is because it's a fun day and they are playing in memory of Everton Cox. And there should be Gatorade, water, and um, different substance, different liquid goes out on the field so they said no don't say water and I'm not gonna say that either refreshment <laughs> A couple of my assistants is here looking at me and said, okay, you can say it. <laughs> can ride swings and get a bottom edge for a single. Six or seven for two. Omari plays that one in the air. It's another six by Omari. That was a good shot, a good follow through. <laughs> Omari is showing the type of batsman that we know he used to be. Sometimes he just um, fall off, but um, for this weekend, he's playing some very good cricket shot. There goes another one over covers. Oh my god. What a shot there by Omari. Didn't even move. So it's a change of bowling and um, as you can see they make the switch because um, 7 over has been completed so they'll be bowling 8 overs from the southern end and it will be Porter to bowl his um, second over he'll be bowling to Kenwright that should be a no ball but we'll wait and it went for 4 Okay, so the umpire signaled the no ball and it went for four. And it should be a free hit. So we got um, we got five added to the score, makes it to 90.
That was like a beamer to Ken Wright. So it's Porter. Ken Wright swings outside the off, some misses. That was some that's a good ball there by Porter. Ken Wright is opening up, but um we're unable to get a touch on that ball. Ken Wright is in seven Omari is in forty-four. Forty-four with um six sixes. That should be four. That was a good shot there by Ken. That was a bouncer by Porter. And Ken had just um, put it away on the leg side for four. Mr. Willoughby, Damien Rowe, what are you doing? That was a good comeback by Porter. You big happy sign, bro. And just um, dabs that one to third man area, gets a single. It's the end of the eight over. Score is 95. <laughs> That would be AK. You can play that in the covers. They get one. We're coming back for the second. Picks up two. That should be uh, a buy. Wait for the umpire. Decision signals by umpire Winkoff. You can remember Winkoff who played for Jamaica. Back home, played some very good cricket. Then he went to New York and played. So it will be Omari to take strike. He's on 44. Score is um, 97. And he could be out caught. Yes, he's out caught. And this is what happens when a batsman would be 
taken off the strike for some time. Then he get to strike the ball and um, the mood that he was in end up hitting the ball in the at the crease is um, Brown. So Murray's out caught for 44. M Myrtle Grove has lost their third wicket. So it will be Brown, always um, in very good touch. I could witness uh, he made 125 down in South Florida. It should be a wide signal by the umpire. And he could be out caught. Yes, he's out caught. Of the second ball of the, oh, the second ball he faced. So Brown is out for a duck. Oh, Myrtle Grove has lost their fourth wicket. To the crease is young Tucker Jr. So at the crease, at the moment, you got Ken Wright, who is still there, and um, Tucker Jr. We are in the ninth over. We are playing a um, 15 over game. Swings to the leg, it should be a, a wide signal by the umpire cuff. So that's two added to the score, makes it 100. Can White hit that one hard and high. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. That's for six by Ken Wright. So the score is now 106 for four. Umpire signals dead ball. Ken swings to the leg and it um, get a top edge and went for four. Score moves to uh, 110. We're in the ninth over. 
Oh, that could be the end of the ninth over. The score is um, 110, 110 for four. Ken Wright moves to 23. So to be Tucker Julia. Plays of that outside the half stone misses. Went through to the keeper. Tucker plays that one down to the leg, just get a single. That was a good shot by Ken in the covers, fielded by the sweeper. He picks up two. That should be just a single. moves to 114 and Chaka hit that one hard and high going going all the way for six back over the bowlers there that was a slower ball and he just waited just a couple seconds and hit it over the bowlers head for six That was a full blooded drive. And it was fielded. EJ took off, which was that uh, suicide run. He got run out yesterday. I don't think he want to get run out today, but that was close. So at the end of the 10th over, the score is 120. 120 for four. So it will be Ken Wright on strike. On the starting of the 11th over. And it's a well known Palmer from South Florida via New York, Jamaica, and now Orlando. But he's playing for Westbury CC out of New York in the final with um, Myrtle Grove.
That was a full-blooded square drive by Ken Wright. And got picks up two. That one, he hit it up in the air. It's anyone's uh, it's fall in no man's land. The keeper called the backward, the point had called. But we're unable to take that catch, so they get a single, a single to the score. Make it to 123. That one, Ken Wright, seems like it didn't go over the ball as much as he should have. So it went up, but it fall in no man's land. Antaka plays that one over covers. They could get four. Yes, it's four runs. A shot over covers. The fielder chase. We were unable to stop it from trickled into the fence for four. Score moves to 127. We are in the 11th over. Ken Wright, who is on 29, Tucker is on 11. 11 from five balls. And it's Palmer from the southern end to bowl to Tucker Jr. Just dabs that one square of the wicket, picks up a single. Can I play that one back to the past the bowler? It was partially stopped by the bowler Palmer, but he still end up getting a single. One twenty nine for four. It's Palmer to Tucker, Tucker Jr. That was in the black hole and he digs that one out. That was a good ball by Palmer. You could see Palmer hold his head, thought that one went through, but um, Tucker dabs on that one and they get a single at the end of the 11th over. Score is 130 for four. Mr. Lefty Johnson, how you doing? Change the ball in from the southern end. That could be out caught. No, it's a six. A six over the bowler's head. I could see the fielder 
make a couple steps back but it went over you need um like two joy gardener to catch that one score moves to 137 Tucker plays that one backwards square, we get one. That was a good throw there. Score moves to 138. So to be can ride swings and misses. It seems I could get a touch, but it went in the gloves and came out as fast as it went in. Score is um, 140 after the 12th over, so three overs to go. And Palmer should be bowling his last of three. Ken Wright is on 30. Okay, is that one he could be out caught? No, it's not. It's um picks up a single. That was a good save. He saved, surely saved the four. That was a good shot by Ken, but he played it square to the square leg fielder and it was a um, comfortable stop.
That was it hard down to long on. Let's get a single. So it's Palmer to Tucker Jr. Swings and misses off a short ball. Palmer is working up a little pace there. It's down the leg. So at the end of the 13th over, score is 143. Two overs to go. So it's Marshall who will be bowling the 14th over with two overs to go. That's a wide signal by the umpire. Ken White swings and yes, that's six. As they would say in the Cow Corner area. Real good shot by Ken Wright. Moves on to 38. Score is now 150. And that could be four. Good shot there by Ken Square of the wicket. One fifty four. Ken moves on to forty two. He could be out caught. Yes, he's out caught. I guess it went to the wrong fielder, I could say. If he want if he wants to save his wicket, don't hit it to Palmer. So Ken White is out for 44. It's not official, but um, we'll get the official score. So the skipper I just went out is um, Lesman. So with about um, eight balls to go for the 50 to complete the 15 over. 
Lesman plays that one square of the wicket. He uh, should just get a single. Mr. Biznard, how are you doing? We miss you today. Very good game going on right now. Miss Erpasad. So it's Marshall to Tucker Jr. And that one went high up in the air. It should be caught by the keeper. Yes, it does. Was caught on the wicket. So Tucker Jr. has been out caught for 22. And again, it's not the official score, but um, it should be close. The score is 1 155. 155. Was close to the. So it's um, Brian Jones, who I just walked to the crease. With um, Captain Lesman. What a beautiful day for cricket. We're here at Eagle's Nest in Orlando. There was a slight discussion with the umpire and the batsman. As I said that the batsman said he crossed, the umpire said nope. So it's um, Jones will be taking strike. Plays that one in the covers for a single. Fielded by the man deep on the long off boundary. So at the end of the 14th over, with one over to go, score is 156. That one's another one that went up high, get the top edge, but it went for six. That was a top edge, but it went, as they would say, burst the sky. Went for six. That should be a wide signal by the umpire. Yeah, no, no, no. 
That's a good shot here, hook from Lesman. Beautiful shot over backward square for four. Score is one sixty eight. You are in the last over. Well, they are just retrieved the ball, so they'll continue the last over. Last over. That was a slower ball. The batsman thinks it was a wide, but um, the umpire was signaling also that he could not see in front of the bowler. So that's uh, that ball. Another ball outside the off stump. Lesman swings and misses. So we got the last ball of the complete the 15 over. And he plays that one down backwards square. It should go for four. I guess it's not. So you get three from the last ball. It brings the total to 171. So the score is 171 for six in the 15 overs of Myrtle Grove. While they are taking, they will be taking a break. We should be back in about 10-15 um, minutes. So. As you can hear the spectators. So we will be back in a short while just to give you a rundown of um, some of the scores. We got Omario made 44, Sheldon 6, Davis 24, Wright 40, Wright 44. 
Well, we are about to start the second half of the final against Westbury and the Myrtle Grove CC. We are here at Eagles Nest in Orlando. Myrtle Grove had just um, completed their inning. They made 171, 171 for six in 15 overs. In their 15 overs. Omari 44, Ken Wright 44, Phil Davis 24, and Tucker Jr. 22. The pick up the bowler was AK, picks up three wickets, and Marshall who picks up two wickets. Score again 171 for six in the allotted 15 overs. Baba. So it will be Arison who will be taking first strike. The bowler is Gaston Walker. First ball, the ball. Drops it in front of him and um, picks up a single. So it will be Allen. We're facing the second ball. That was short and Allison pulls for four. That was a short ball from Walker. Sitting up for Allen to he said do whatever he wanted to. He decided to hit it for four. Oh, 
Silver, you look very good. So it's Gaston Walker, first over. That one a pulled square of the wicket for four. So Westbury is on the go. Score is um, nine. Well, at the end of the first over, the score is nine without loss, Westbury. Chasing a total of 171 for six made by Myrtle Grove CC. We are in the final of the moment. We're here at um, Eagles Nest in Orlando. Very good day for cricket. So it's Brown with his left arm spin. Take over from. But to be Brown with his left arm spin. That one is short. And he plays that one over covers. That should be four. So that was a short first ball from from Brown. Stood up for the batsman to hit it wherever he wanted to. He chose to hit it for four. That's another one, the same shot, I would say. It was hit for four overcovers. Score rushed to 17. Oh, 
Hey, hey, get right there, rock, get right there. I'll take the white block. That should be another four there by Allen. Well, it seems like it um, did not go for four. So they, my beg your pardon, that just went for two. You can't understand some bola. You can't bowl five ball and five ball in my skin shot ball. You can make two and run. 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 I don't know if you're going to be able to get a little bit of 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 a little bit Westbury replying to Myrtle Grove 171. That's a beautiful shot over covers for six by Harrison. Score moves on to thirty. Hey, Harrison.
And Harrison was bold by Walker. That was a beautiful ball. Plays and misses. Plays on the outside. The ball um, swings back. And not the mid and half stump. So Westbury had lost their first wicket. Harris not been out bold for 21. Score is now 32, 32 for one. They're in the third over. <laughs> So that was the end of the third over. So it will be Keone Gale who will be taking over from Brown. As you can see, they've been tweaking the field. Gail started out with a sh slow ball, just a little short, but you were able to get away with um, just a single. and he's out caught that was a good running catch um let me see who is the fielder is that brown well i could say brown had revived that was a beautiful running catch plays it over covers and um we were able to run around and um take a beautiful catch so westbury had lost their second wicket So Green had just been out. Palmer who replaced Green. Porter. My mistake. Make that Porter who had replaced Green. Thank you, thank you. I guess Palmer won't be batting until number nine. No. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's right here, so I'm just making fun of him. He know what I knew about him. Very good batsman. I'm gonna try to be neutral today and hoping that he makes some runs. Oh, 
And that was a cheeky single there by Porter and Allen. That one was it hard and high back over the bowler Z46. I heard they're calling for a new ball because um, we got to get a drone to fetch that. Hey, I'm on here. Hey, okay, now one, two of them here. Hey, dad, how them women? 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 How them so they had called for a new ball, but that one was hit in the woods. So it will be Jones. And that one again was hit hard and high. That should go on for six. Yes, another six by that by Allen. Score rush to 45. They are in the fourth over. So at the end of the fourth over score is 45 45 for two the new bowler is uh, Phil Davis Words and leopards are trying yeah. to kill the sheep yeah. and the shepherd yeah. the ass. Words and leopards are trying to kill the sheep and the shepherd yeah. Too much informers Too much still they rise Too much informers Too much still they rise so it's Phil Davis to bowl to Porter. Porter plays that one. Just a little backwards fielded by Tucker Jr. Get a single. That was a drop catch there. That was hit like a bullet. Square of the wicket. So Allen had um, get a life.
That one should have gone for six. Yes, it does. A top edge. So the score moves on to 52. We now see ourselves in unity, celebrating with better party now that the war is over, over. So it's Phil Davis for Allen. That was a loud appeal, umpire says, not out. Could be a little high. Umpire signal, leg by. That one was it over square of the wicket for four. It's the end of the fifth over, and it's Gale to continue. Score is um, 57. That was a beautiful catch. That was a beautiful catch there by um it's brown very low so allen is out caught allen is out for 34. So West Westbury now had um, lost their third wicket. Score should be 57 for three. As Palmer walked to the to the wicket with um, Porter.
Well, the score at the moment is um, 61 for, for four. Westbury chasing a total of 171 made by Murder Grove. At the moment, you got Watson and um, Palmer of the crease. Keone Gale so far picked up three wickets. He's in his second over. I must say happy Easter to each and everyone out there. Score moves to 62 after sixth over. All right, we Phil Davis to continue. And again, I must say happy Easter to everyone out there. That's some Phil Davis. That was a single by Watson. Davis ball in his second over. While I was away from the camera, that wicket that was um, that last wicket was caught by Sheldon, and he should be out caught. Yes, caught behind the the wicket by the keep wicket keeper. The so Westbury have lost their fourth wicket. Watson have been out for two. Score is 62 for 5. And to give you an update of the IPL today, Kings 11 made 151. Sunrisers 152 for 3 in 18.5 overs. Oh. 
is um, Devon Campbell who had just um, joined Palmer at the crease. Shadow that ball outside the off stump. A very exciting final is going on at the moment. Keone Gale who had um, started his um, third and final over was hit for six over his head by Palmer. And Palmer drives straight back past the bowler for four. Beautiful shot by Palmer. One of the best shot in cricket. Back past the bowler. 95% of the time there's no fielder behind or close to be behind the bowler. So that was a uh, consecutive boundary. So it's Gale who had picked up three wickets so far. That one it could be out caught. Yes, he's out caught. By Tucker Jr. Hit it down deep mid wicket and was out. Caught. So Palmer is gone. And that's four wickets here for Keone Gale. He's in his third over. So the new batsman to the crease to join Campbell is AK.
So it's Keone outside the half stump. Must remind everyone that um, the music in the background is just for entertainment only. another catch by Sheldon bowled by Tucker Jr. So Myrtle Grove at Westbury had lost their seventh wicket Caught by Sheldon, ball by Tucker Jr. I must apologize for some technical difficulties. Music in the background is very loud. The music is for entertainment only. I do not have the copyrights of those music. Mr. Ashman, are you doing? John Willoughby. First thing early Monday morning, I'm gonna pop my toes So the end of the should be the tent over. Mr. Roper, what are you doing?
So while the score is um, 86, we are in the 11th over. That was a swing and a miss. Also missed by the keeper. That should be a, a bye. Umpire did not signal. So we should it go to the batsman. Okay. That one could be out. Yes, it's out caught. Yeah, we got, we got, we got this type of crowd also. What's your name, please? Huh? What's your name? Okay. okay, thank you very much. I'm sure I got to remember that. Right. So, Westbury had lost another wicket. What did you get out of this? What? What did you get away? What did you get away? So, yes, that was the end of the, the inning. Who cares about the winning? So the score was 86. The victory for Myrtle Grove. Bigger. Bigger. Oh, another picture. Another picture. Oh, yeah, but, 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 yeah, You want me to have them move anyway? A certain way? Are you, that's good. Oh, it's video. Uh, 
Are the best school I will with ten wickets also go to Westbury and AK.